Hey YouTube, my name is Heather and I love anti-MLM content here on YouTube. Today I am super excited for us to watch a nine minute training from famous MLM coach named Fraser Brooks, who's going to teach us about how to build our network marketing business on social media through pockets of time throughout our day. I'm really excited to get started and I'd love to hear what you think below. All right, so great question this week from Michael Sorensen. He says, how can I build my social, how can I build my business on social media if I don't have a lot of time? Well, one of the favorite questions. First off, wasn't that introduction cool? I'm not sure if he made it himself. He probably paid someone to put that together for him, but super cool music. And I liked his little dance move there. I thought that was really cool. And it certainly adds a lot to his videos. Questions that I can ever answer, uh, simply because that's what one of my specialities is. Building an out business, using social media in your pockets of time, right? In your pockets of time. So here's the funny thing, right? First and foremost, you need to understand that the people, the average person who's kind of crushing at the moment are women, right? The demographic of this women are, are crushing it, are women. Unfortunately, majority of people in multi-level marketing companies are women, unless you're in MLMs such as like iGenius or other crypto MLMs or Primerica and then health insurance MLM, you'll find the majority are women who are usually either stay at home or they're, they're single moms or they're just moms, right? They don't have a lot of time. If they're, if they're awake or when they're awake, they're either looking after the kid. If they're not looking after the kid, they're looking after the home. If they're not looking after the home, they're doing their job. If they're not doing their job, they're like sleeping because they need to, like they don't sleep, right? I mean, I so he's right, majority of women in network marketing, well, maybe not majority, lots of them are probably mothers. Some of them might be single mothers, and that's a huge problem with the MLM industry that for moms or new moms, a lot of them might be looking for something that they can call their own that can help them figure out who they are outside of being a parent or a spouse. And distributors are taught to prey on that insecurity and prey on that need for mothers to have something outside of them outside of their family and to have adult friendship and adult conversation and i think like i know i get what he's trying to say is that moms don't have a lot of time and they kill it but he's just emphasizing the fact that mothers and single mothers are targeted for multi-level marketing companies i don't know if anyone saw the lula rich documentary but they're really snaky slimy lula lula Rowe ceo said that stay-at-home mothers are the single most underutilized resource in the united states something along those lines i found that disgusting and predatory but he was saying that these women a lot of them are highly educated a lot of them they just to be a stay-at-home parent you have to be able to problem solve juggle multiple things at once you're you're a chef you are a chauffeur you're a nurse you're a doctor you're a you're a cleaner you're a counselor you're a teacher you have to do all of these things at once all of the time and what he said was nice in the sense that you have to be very intelligent and very driven to be a stay-at-home parent but he's also saying because majority of them are so smart and, and intelligent that we need to bring them into our company and we need to utilize their skills to make LuLaRoe more money what do you think about that I, I believe mums mums are the most overworked underpaid and in a lot of situations underappreciated people that are on the planet right I'm just gonna say I genuinely believe that mums are overworked, underpaid, not paid anything, and in most cases, underappreciated. The fact that they have two days a year, Mother's Day and their birthday, is a crime. There should be a Mother's Day every hour. Like, it should be like, hey, it's 11 a.m. I mean, granted, they're clapping at 7 p.m., right? And this is a bit of a rant, and it, it shouldn't really be said, but 7 p.m., I think, for the NHS, that's amazing. Like, I, I, I'm there as well. Even here in Germany, me and Svetlana are on a balcony clapping and raving and all that. Why, why, can't we do that every, why can't we do that every 8 p.m. for months? 
I mean, it took it took it took two women in my life to make me a man. My mum, obviously, it takes every woman, every man on the planet. It took a woman to make them a man, right? And then obviously step on it. Okay, those, those two women made me a man. Right? My dad helped me and mentored me. He didn't make me a man. My mum, my mum did. Anyway, so that was a sweet little mom rant. However, near the end of the video, we'll see, I don't know if it's a story he made up or if it's real, but we'll hear a story of him guilting a mom of a young child and saying that, pretty much saying that she's not a good mother because she's not working her business as much as she can. So just remember that. Okay, so here's what you gotta understand. You gotta understand, busy people get stuff done. So here's what you wanna do. You wanna eliminate, MOM people like to say that the most successful people are the busiest, which I see, I guess that makes sense because if you're a parent of four kids and you work full time and you don't really have much time after work and taking care of your entire family, the time you do have, you're going to be really efficient with it and you're going to have a plan and you're going to get through your tasks as quickly and efficiently as possible. So every MOM person uses it, but I do see why. All the different stuff. You want to make a, make a list. We did this in the five day blitz not so long ago. I asked everyone on here, and you guys can do it now if you're in the comments, list all the things or list one thing that's on your to do list every day in your network marketing business. So there's all these daily method operations. You've got connect with new people, follow up, um, fo follow up, ask the question. Uh, what have we got? Personal. I don't know. He keeps saying, ask the question. I don't know what the question is for him. I haven't heard it in, in any other of his videos. For Ray Higdon, when he says, ask the question, it's, hey, I have an at-home business. Are you open to taking a look? If not, no worries. No big deal. I just wanted to ask because he likes to say, ask them if they're open and then give them an out. And I assume that's probably what Fraser Brooks is talking about. Something along the lines of, hey, you want to look at my product or my opportunity, but I'm not sure. Development, contact your team, follow up with customers, get reorders, do my tracking. There's all these different things. Of course, when you get home from a busy day of work, it's 9 p.m. and you put your feet up on the sofa, you turn the TV on, you're like, oh. You look at your phone to see your DMO and you see there's 18 things to do. Of course you're going to go, you know what, I'll do it tomorrow. Nah, I can't be bothered today. I, I, I'll, just, I'll just do it tomorrow. Of course you're going to do that. What happens if there are three things? So that's a really reasonable approach. You said, like, if you're working all day and you come home with 20 things on your to-do list, of course you're not going to do it. You're tired. And a lot of MLM people won't say something like that. They'll say, well, you're not invested in your business. You don't care enough to make this a priority. So here he has a very good, reasonable approach. But later in the video, he's going to contradict himself and start guilting people who say that they don't have time and they are not able to fit their business into their life by saying that it's not a priority for him. So he, he contradicts himself at least three times in this nine minute video, at least the ones that I caught. What happens if there are two things? What happens if there are things you can do in five minutes? So here's what I highly recommend. I highly recommend that you do five to 15 minute blitzes. If you're working, five minutes are gonna be best. If you have an hour in the day, like if you have an hour where you can go hard for an hour, maybe 15 minutes are gonna be best. I can see all the comments coming in of like happy bit. That's a really reasonable thing to suggest. If you're busy, you can just work in like five minute sections throughout the day when you're able to. But I wonder if you can actually build a successful multi-level marketing business in that way because in Beachbody, they'll say, oh, you can work this in pockets of time th around your life, around your kids and your job. But then when you're in it and you're working it in pockets of time, they're going to guilt you and say that you're not dedicated to your business, that you can't have a full-time income by working in pockets of time. So yes, this seems like reasonable advice, but I just wonder, I'm not sure if you can actually find success in any multi-level marketing company, only working in five minutes at a time birthday messages, reaching out to comments, replying to comments. Like, it's crazy. The list is crazy. Boy. So he was just reading out comments of his 
viewers writing in about the daily the things they have to do on a day-to-day -day basis and he just said sending birthday messages in a video i think at least a month ago now a beach body coach was telling us about how to reach new people on our social media and said send out birthday messages to everyone who has a who facebook tells you has a birthday and say happy birthday how are you we haven't connected in so long and use their birthday as a way to forge a fake friendship and make them think that you care about them and that you want to reconnect but you're really just viewing them as a dollar sign what you're going to do is all you need to do that's going to help you the three activities commenting and if you're watching this video right now i advise you to comment down below to prove to me that you're able to actually do this exercise if you're watching it and you're like oh, i can't be bothered you're always going to be a passive user on social media there's two types of users passive user active user passive passive users watch and see but they don't engage and you get marked down on visibility active users take part in the social media that's how it works right so commenting Spamming, which is fine, find a message, which is my process of turning net, no, turning strangers into friends, friends into family, family is short. That's his process. That's such a basic thing. I don't know why he's making it <coughs> seem all fancy and innovative. So find ad message. That's literally how you talk to anyone on social media. You might find an old friend, you add them, then you message them. That's not some <coughs> crazy thing that like you need to pay money to send fancy MLM coach to learn. He said it's a process of turning strangers into friends and friends into business partners or something. And I hate the fact that social media is used as a way to prey on people's vulnerabilities and use those vulnerabilities to draw them into multi-level marketing schemes. It's a shame because you always have to be aware of your surroundings on social media. You have to think about the motive that people have when they're reaching out to you. And you have to keep in mind that a conversation with a nice stranger isn't necessarily just a conversation. They could be preparing to give you a business pitch or reconnecting with an old friend from high school. They're probably just wanting to sell you something or recruit you to their team. And that's a shame because five years ago, I don't think that happened as much. We didn't really hear about anti multi level marketing content on YouTube and now it's so prevalent so at least people know what to look out for now but it's just a shame that social media can't just be social media and we just can't connect with people for family uh, and then asking the question so asking the question being the questions that I cover in my books I dare you and I double dare you I dare you can get of course he's not going to tell us like it's some big fancy secret I bet you it's just what Ray Higdon says Hey, you want to look at my product or opportunity? If not, no big deal. Just thought I'd ask. That's probably something similar along those lines. From FraserBrooks.com forward slash book. I double dare you can get FraserBrooks.com forward slash double. Right now, there's a limited time offer where you can get both books at a massively reduced rate, uh, free international shipping and all of that sort of stuff. So don't wait, don't delay. So here's the thing. If you are able to in your job, like, you know, you have a tea, and guys, people go for cigarette breaks, they, they are smoking cigarettes for 10 minutes. So you can go to the toilet for five minutes. You go to the toilet, just drink a lot of water and say, oh yeah. So you have to work your MLM business on the toilet. You can't even just go to the bathroom and evacuate your bowels. You have to sit there and recruit people and harass people that you may not you may know or not know on the internet such a shame and they preach time freedom and that's how they bring you into the mlm scheme but you don't even get to go to the bathroom by yourself and i'm going to drink a lot of water at the moment i can't hold it in like mm -hmm. right five minutes you're sitting on the toilet bang go and spend five minutes commenting and you go back to your work an hour later you go for a I saw a Beachbody coach on a Zoom call such a long time ago talking about how I think she said she had Crohn's and colitis and or I don't know how to say the name of the condition properly, but she spent a lot of her time on the toilet because she was always sick. So she would just bring her laptop into the bathroom and just do her work while on the toilet. Such a shame that if you're in an MLM, you can't just go to the bathroom in peace. You always have to be working. You always have to be harassing. You always have to be recruiting people into the MLM scheme that you were recruited into. Another five minute breaks, you're on the toilet, you go find our message. Then another, then another hour later, you can spend five minutes asking the question. You do that, you repeat that process two or three times during the day. When you get home and you're like, oh, exhausted, that's my 10 hour day at work, feet up, Netflix on, you check your phone and you're like, whoa, whoa, 
reply, reply, reply. Can I have more information? Reply, reply. They want more information. Reply, more information. Like, let's go. You're not doing the DMO now. You just. I like the intent behind his advice that you don't have to just sit there and work it constantly. You can just use your time efficiently, but I hate the reality of it, which means if you're walking to class, if you're standing in line for coffee, if you're sitting in the pickup line waiting to pick up your kids from school, you can't just be sitting and be present in your surroundings or with what you're doing. You always have to be working and doing something related to the MLM scheme. So I like the advice, but I also hate the advice at the same time because there's no time freedom. You're always working. It's following up, you're following up, you're following up, you're following up. Now, if you have an hour, you can do 10 minutes, 10 minutes, 10 minutes, 10 minutes, 10 minutes, 10 minutes, done. You have to know the pocket that, yeah, but I, I just don't have any time. Make the time. Yeah, but I can't. Easier said than done. It's easier said than done if it's not important to you. If it's important. I think MLM coaches and distributors like to think that if you have the free time that you have the capacity to use that time. I said this a hundred times on this channel, but just because I don't have something scheduled doesn't mean I'm available to go hang out with friends or do something. Sometimes you just need to lay on the couch and do nothing. Sometimes you just need a day to yourself and MLM people will sit there and try to like dissect your, your daily schedule and say, look, you have 10 minutes here. Look, you, you say you always, you always click snooze in the morning. If you don't click snooze, you can pick up your phone for 10 minutes and work when you're still half asleep and you haven't had coffee yet and you're tired. You have to work. You can't just slowly slowly get ready for the day slowly get your brain turned on you have to be working right away to you you will make it happen if it's not important to you you won't make it happen if it's a priority you won't make it happen here's what i said the other day to someone they said to me like this is the part that i want us to con contrast with the part he said at the beginning about how amazing moms are and how hard their job is and how underappreciated they are. They went from praising moms and in my opinion he's going to start shaming this mom. Oh you know what like my, my why my, my why makes me cry it's my daughter. I, my daughter is my why but I just I just can't get success. I'm like right what I want you to do it each and every single day is when you go when your daughter goes to bed she's only like four or five I want you to tuck your daughter in bed I want you to look at her dead in the eye and I want you to say exactly how you feel your business went for you to get to the dream for your daughter. And she contacted me the next day and said, I couldn't do it. I said, why? She said, because I didn't want to let her down. I said, exactly. Is your why really your daughter? Because if it is and you see your daughter, in my opinion, he's shaming this poor mother, pretty much insinuating that she does not want the best for her daughter because she is not working her MLM business enough, pretty much insinuating that she's neglecting her and not giving her what she needs. What do you think about that? I know I tend to overthink and dissect what these people say a bit too much, but I think it's important to really listen hard and determine their motive under what they're saying, why they're saying it, how they're saying it, and like what their intent is. Daughter, every single flipping day, why aren't you doing something about it? Because you're letting your fears be bigger than your daughter. If the fear was a She's not necessarily letting her fears be bigger. Life is hard. Having a small child is hard. Maybe she's not working her MLM business because she's creating memories with her daughter. Maybe she's taking her to activities. Maybe she's teaching her valuable lessons. Maybe she's helping her figure out new interests and hobbies or helping her make friends. Maybe she's not working her business because she's trying to be a present mother to do what's best for her child. And an MLM scheme is not, is not what is best for a five-year-old. Person, and there were two people in the bed, your daughter and this imaginatively, you know, imaginative fear person. That means that you would be looking at the, your daughter and mom, you'd be like, hey, whatever, I'm looking at fear. Fear deserves my time. Mom, 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 mom. no, fear. Are you going to give more attention to your fears or are you going to give more attention to your wife, to your daughter? To so are you saying that this mother is being neglectful because she's not working her business, not because she's being a mother, a present mother, but because she's scared? And why are you assuming like she's not 
doing what she has to do in her business just because she's not meeting where her version of success is. She might be trying her best. She might be doing this method of finding pockets of time to work in to get those three things that you said to get done. Maybe she's doing that, but she's realizing that it's impossible to have financial success working your MLM business in five minutes at a time. Maybe she can't work for more than five minutes at a time because she has a four or five year old daughter that she has to take care of. How dare this random person on the internet shame a mother because she's not finding financial success and how dare he insinuate that she is a neglectful bad mother because she is scared. She's probably not scared. She's probably just doing what you told her to do here in this exact video and realizing it's impossible for her to find financial success. What do you think about that below? I'm getting kind of heated. I just, I just hate this kind of rhetoric and I think it's so harmful to parents who already probably question what they're doing enough, who wonder if they're doing a good job and setting their kids up for success and helping them become good people. They don't need random people on the internet saying that they're bad parents. Dear kids, that's the key. So when people come to me and say, yeah, but like, it's easier said than done, you've got all the time to work. I didn't have all the time when I started out. When I first started now marketing, I had six days to go before my final level university exams. They might be thinking like, yeah, yeah, but I had six days to go before my final level university exams, but I launched a business. Sir, you didn't launch a business. You paid a fee to a company for the privilege and the honor of posting about their products and recruiting other people into the scheme. You didn't launch anything. No, your why, look at your why dead in the face if you're able to. And ask them, hey, like I've done this, this, and this. Would, would my daughter hire me? Or would my daughter fire me based on the work that I did? Daughter. This woman's daughter is probably not going to sit there judging her mom like you are. She's probably going to think when she's older, hey, my mom did the best she could to make a good life for me. And I appreciate all the effort she put in to being the best mom that she could be. She's not going to sit there and shame her mother like you are. Husband, wife, son, grandson, granddaughter, whatever it might be. Find the pockets of time that you can build in and establish five, 10, or 15 minute windows of these three activities. Yes, you can add in others, but start with these three core, the core three. Get help, get that to get your energy up, get you fired up, and then use that and leverage other activities, all right? So. That's all I have for today. I didn't think I was gonna get so frustrated with him shaming the mother at the very end. What do you think about that? Do you think I'm just reading too much into it, or do you agree that he's also but do do you also think that he's shaming this individual again i don't know if the story's real but the part of when he said like if you're not meeting your goals it's like you're looking fear in the face and neglecting your daughter and your daughter's calling you like no i'm looking at fear i'm looking at fear assuming that because she's not finding financial success it be, must be because she's scared not because she's doing what you told her to do working in five minute pockets throughout her day and realizing that she's not getting anywhere financially by following your advice so that's all i have for today let me know what you think below about the topic of mom shaming or parent shaming in MLMs. I have yet to cover that on this channel, so I'd love to hear what you think. So that's all I have for now, and I'll see you next time. Bye!